Yeah, we're rolling. We're here with our friend BMX dude. How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. We're making a little better. video of you this morning. It's Monday morning. What is this? The 30th of uh, September. Month is coming to an end, isn't it? Good to see you. All right, uh, you and I have already talked a little bit about this, but we thought that this was such an interesting case that we would share it with our friends on YouTube. You're okay with that, right? Yes. Tell me, tell me kind of what happened. You, this is an interesting looking uh, spot you have on your left thigh there, and uh, so uh, I, you, we're calling you BMX dude because you like to do a little BMXing. Is this related at all to your BMX experience? No. Okay, tell me what happened. Basically, this is just from a game pot exploding in my pants and not recognizing that it was there to begin with until it was probably over an hour later. Okay, so you're yes. saying gain like the detergent. Yes. Because when I first heard you say that, I thought you said game pod, like, you know, you know those little yeah. Game Boy things. That's not at all what you're talking about. No. You're saying gain like the detergent. They make those detergent pods. Yes, sir. Okay. And this was in your pocket. Yes, sir. And it had been there for a day or two or something. What, are they flatten out a little bit where you don't feel them very much? Well, they're... Originally, there's three sections of it. There's a mm -hmm. white section, a green section, and a blue section. And each section has its own different detergent, per se. Sure. And ultimately, you know, it does great for cleaning clothes. Sure. But it doesn't do the best whenever it's activated with water and it's, like, saturated in your pocket. So how did it get wet? Um, probably, I, honestly, probably because of my clothes just... Were wet from that day because it was raining on the oh, day. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So a little rainy day. It got yep. wet. Then what happened? I pretty much realized that my leg was burning as I was, you know, just going on about my business throughout the day. And that pair of pants, because after I got off of work, I changed my pants, and then that next pair of pants got wet, and then basically, boom, like I just ended up having um, a little bit of a irritation on my leg, and I didn't see anything. Right not anything like it is currently and ultimately you know i figured it's just a i didn't know the severity of it so i treated it as a typical laceration and or you know abrasion or something like that yeah correct so you weren't sure what had happened but then when did you piece it together that it was from the the, the little detergent pod whenever i actually was on three days into it and it wasn't getting any better and i, I called the poison control okay and well, I'm like okay let me take a look at the reading of the labels and I realized that you know ultimately it's extremely toxic right so yeah pretty caustic I mm -hmm. guess would be a good word right okay and so from there you did what next basically um, just went from the poison control to ER to here okay so what happened uh, this week uh, what happened at the ER what was your experience there well, the ER basically, um, they, they accepted me and, you know, I had to wait for an hour or so. And mm -hmm. basically that wasn't, that wasn't really anything too out of the ordinary. Right. Ultimately, once I got in there and I saw everybody, it was a quick in and out and they bandaged me up and there's, they said that you were fine. Just keep doing what you're doing and, um, take the meds that we give you basically go ahead and we were going to prescribe you something, and I haven't looked exactly what that prescription is. Did you pick it up? No. Okay. You I have not it. currently picked that oh, up. That's okay. That's and right. I figured I'd go to my doctor because that wasn't sufficient enough. Okay. I don't know enough about this type of burn. Right. I know about lacerations. Sure. I know how to treat myself from BMX injuries. Right, right. This is not a BMX injury. No, something a little bit different. Okay. So you've been putting um, a triple antibiotic uh, kind of product on there and also some Bactine, you said? Correct. Okay. So when you were in the ER, did they give you a tetanus shot? No. Did they ask you about your tetanus status? No. You're kind of a young guy, so I'm not concerned that you need a tetanus shot because your last tetanus shot is still probably good. Okay. Yeah, so, I've, I've, I've stayed up to yeah. date more or less okay. with all that. Good. And the other thing is um, that's not really the kind of wound we worry about for tetanus, uh, mm -hmm. although with any burn, uh, typically we'll go ahead and, and update a tetanus if we just don't know. In your case, we know, so we're not worried about that. Um, the other thing is, is what our experience has been with people that, um, with any kind of abrasion or wound, if we continue to use those, um, antibiotic ointments that they can lead to some skin irritation too. All right. So really they're very helpful maybe in the first day or two, but beyond that, it can actually start causing some skin breakdown due to the, the petroleum base that's used in those products. Okay. Right. So, so, um, the first thing I'm going to tell you to stop using that. Okay. 
The second thing is, um, and, and I wouldn't use that uh, the Bactine spray anymore either. Um, I, not that those aren't useful products, but after the first few days, they're, they're not as helpful. And I'm going to prescribe for you a silver-based uh, cream that we're going to use um, that will help prevent infection. It also has been proven to help these wounds heal faster. The good news is, is, is most of that is second degree. I do think you have some little spots in there that are third degree. This is a chemical burn. You mentioned that before, and I want to be sure that people that are watching on YouTube realize that this uh, detergent pod um, has caused a chemical burn on your leg. And I don't want to pick on gain because I think that a lot of other companies manufacture a very similar product. Much so, yeah. Um, and I, I, you know, I think that there are warnings and so forth um, that tell you, you know, you know, keep it away from your skin. And I don't think people realize that uh, if they do get wet and they open up and they, they um, you know, come in contact with the skin, that this is the kind of injury that can occur. The good news for and you... That, that's without even being skin on, on direct right. skin. That's within multiple layers of clothing. Through pocket and Yeah, so forth. that's yeah. like... Because I had multiple pockets and it wasn't like I just literally put water on it and slapped it on my skin. It was... It was in somewhat layered yeah. in a pocket. So. so these reddened areas around here, that's going to be more like a first or second degree out here. That's first degree. You've got some second degree in here. You might have some small areas of third degree. But it's small enough that this is going to heal without any kind of grafting or anything like that, okay? And also in the video, it may show that that looks like, yeah, there you go. It looks like it's swollen. There's a little bit of swelling on this burn, but most of that is muscle. That's from your, your biking. I had to actually get you to straighten your leg for me so I could be sure that that wasn't a big hematoma or something. Under yeah, there. actually, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting some exercise. Yeah, you can put your leg back down. The, the important thing is, is that we get you on the right medicine, and uh, there's a lot of reassurance here. This is going to, to heal fine. If you want to show us later, if you wanted to come back and just give us an update on that, that would be really cool, but you don't have to. Um, you know, people like to see, you know, how people turn out with, uh, you know, the folks that are watching, they like to see how our patients turn out when they have wounds like this. But um, the takeaway message is, is if, you, if, if you are carrying around those detergent pods, if you're using them, uh, don't let them come in contact with your skin. Certainly don't put them in your pocket. Um, leave them in the box until you're ready to use them, I would say is probably the best advice. And um, and BMX dude, you did the right stuff. I mean, you con you, you did everything right. You you contacted poison control. You con you went to the emergency department. Uh, you were seen there. Uh, my only objection that is that I think they should have given you um, uh, the special burn cream that I'm going to give you today. But outside of that, I think your care was appropriate. Um, Anyway, I appreciate you sharing your story with us, uh, with our friends on YouTube, and let this be a warning to everyone just to be careful with those detergent pods because, well, as you can see, this could have happened anywhere. And if, imagine if this had been a little bit closer to the inguinal area, to the groin area, that could have been really um, a lot more difficult to deal with. The other thing is, let's say you put your hand in your pocket and then you rubbed your eye or something and, that, and got that into your eye or something. Oh, yeah. That could have been I a, can occur. a yes. significant uh, uh, burn to the... Uh, conjunctiva of the eye. So, so let's be careful out there, folks. Um, and uh, once again, BMX dude, thanks for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Hey, folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta Seven. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Cocoa Skin Plus. 
Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.